Good morning, Bulls buddies. Happy Friday to you. What a wonderful week we've had. Beautiful weather. Hope you've all been sunbathing, got a bit of sunshine. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, ask Andy, as always, on a Friday. Uh, I've got a right one to get my teeth into today. I might end up falling out with a few people, but that yeah, doesn't matter, does it? Straight away, I'd just like to say thanks so much for all of you who have become a Bulls buddy. And if you would like to become a Bulls buddy and become part of this channel, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get uh, informed of when there is new content on the channel. So, straight into it. I got an email from uh, Colin Beeman, Beeman even, teeth aren't in this morning, and we all know Colin, Shropshire County player, winner of the Spring Waterloo, amongst many, many others. And his question was, growing up watching my dad play bowls in the 70s and 80s, when the power base was definitely in the northern counties, like Yorkshire, Lancashire, Greater Manchester, etc. What do you think of the shift in the balance of power to the Midlands? As it could now be argued that the Midlands now has the top ball in the game in Callum. Midlands counties have won 11 of the last 15 county championships and the Summit League Premier Division being the best league around. Okay, interesting stuff from Colin. So where to start? I'm going to just change the question slightly to do I think the Southern Counties have gained the balance of power. And I think you would have to be very Northern centric to refute that. Um, the County Championship results alone suggest that uh, the balance has shifted to our Midlands brethren. Uh, Callum being the best player currently could be argued you could still argue for the uh, the old timers like Graham and Gary and of course Greg would be in the that equation as well but I'll take certainly take that on board I think that I think that uh, yes you could argue that that Callum is the best player at the minute is the Premier League, the best, the uh, the Stafford Premier League. Again, I could argue long and hard about it actually being um, the Murfield League, but, you know, I haven't got long enough for that. Ultimately, the short answer is yes. I think, I think you've got to say that the Southern Counties totally hold sway at the minute. The Warwick and Worcester team are... Have got to be the best county side there's ever been. Surely, they're winning, winning it. What have they won it? Eight? Is it eight out of ten years or something ridiculous? They've won it a lot. Um, the team spirit that they have is incredible. Not only are they are they good players, they've also got this this self belief that makes them almost unbeatable. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of you scoffing. Oh, South Yorkshire only lost by two and somebody else. That's not the point. The point I'm making is they have this self-belief that... Not arrogance. People say, well, you mean they're arrogant. No, they've got a self-belief that keeps them battling on for each other. And that is, is a really important quality to having a team. There's... I've I've played at club level with plenty of teams who have had that. County sides, it's very rare to get 12, 12 players all pulling in the same direction, putting and everything else aside. And I think Warwick and Worcester have got that at the minute. Yorkshire are probably the only team, county side, who can compete on a regular basis with Warwick and Worcester. And I don't just think they have the same team ethos. I think that their away team has. I think they're, they're quite quite close-knit. Um, I might be seeing things that aren't there, but to me they just don't seem as, as cohesive as Warwick and Worcester. There's not a lot between them. I think they're both 
really top class counties. Shropshire aren't far behind. They've got that, that ethos as well. North Midlands have that ethos. They've got it they're looking at it from another way almost though. Like we're the, the, the smallest county and, and you know we're gonna show you and they, they, that's the way they come from. Um but there's something that connects all those counties for me. Not only do they have they have good players, not only do they have five good greens that they can pick from. Not only do they have incredible support around the green, um, you know, you go to these counties and you get crucified for an afternoon. And I don't care who you are, it makes a difference. Compare that to some of the other counties, it's like playing in a library. Now, that's nobody's fault in particular, that's just the way it is. So they've got those things in common. But also, Shropshire, North Midlands, Warwick and Worcester and Yorkshire, all, nearly all their players play in a top-class league. So the North Midlands and Warwick and Worcester lads are played in the Summit Premier League on a Monday night. So you play other players of equal ability. No practice going on trying to win. Shropshire Premier League, the same. Murfield League, the same. And it hones your game. There's no doubt about it that you play good players on their own greens without practice. You either play as well as you can or you get battered. No doubt about it. So for me, there's those four things that connect the teams, the county teams, who are actually doing the winning at the minute or in the shake-up to do the winning. And it's massive, that's massive. You look at some of the other counties, I'll take my own county, North Lanks. We don't have a Premier League, we don't have, we just have various leagues and some are better than others and the same players are playing players who aren't as good as them and they're just rolling them over and that's about it. But you get a practice, so it's not just, it's not just the same. And we don't have... We don't have that bonding. We don't. We don't. We're not North Lanks. You know, we have the Aries, We have the File Course. We have Preston. We have East Lanks. And they're all sort of. We should be playing. We should be playing. We should be playing. We should be playing. And you don't have that that county ethos of all pulling in the same direction. And it's a difficult one to manage. Is that? But. You've then got other counties, so you've got the Potteries. The Potteries have got, you know, oh, that was the other thing. So they've, they've got those four, but they've also got a fifth, which is they've also got fairly young teams. They've got, I'm not saying they're all in the 20s, but they're all under 50. You know, they're all sort of at the that time of life where they want to be competitive. And I think that's really important. So Potteries, for instance, I think they they will improve. The the lost out in the final to North Midlands a couple of years ago. I think they've got a right good right good set of lads there. And they can if they can just get the greens sorted and get, get the players sorted and, and get that mix right, I think they'll go a long way because they have they have good support. Um Derbyshire are always liable to, to do well. Because they have they have the greens. They're not, not they have they have this split, don't they? So you've got the Burton lads, Burton in Staffordshire, sorry, Derbyshire. Um they you know, there's a lot of good greens there and they can put good sides out. And then all the other I mean some massive counties, Derbyshire. All the other lads from everywhere else, you know, they make up the away team. Uh Staffordshire Despite having the Summit Premier League, they just don't seem to be like the other Midlands outfits at all. Um, I don't think they're a bad bad side at all. Don't get me wrong. And they they are. I mean, the last visit I had was to that uh, Hammerwich Green, which I think is an absolute monster. Um, and I think they they could they could do very well in the future. Again, just the odd tweak here and there. And then you get to the north. And apart from 
Yorkshire who I've talked about. They're the only northern county sort of keeping the northern end up, if you will. Greater Manchester. Greater Manchester and Cheshire. They dominated the county early 2000s. And what was knocking around in the early 2000s? The Premier League. The Manchester Evening News Premier League. And back when it started back then, that was a right league. Every man and his dog wanted to play in that. And the only the best did. And I think that honed the games of the county players that played for Greater Manchester and Cheshire. Yes, they were already good players, but it gives them that, that edge. It's, it's like practising for a county game by playing a league game. And it's I don't think it's any coincidence that as that Manchester Premier League started to dwindle off, and I know it's still going, but believe me, no offence to the people who are playing it now, but it's a pale, pale shadow of what it used to be. Can you have a pale shadow? <laughs> it's a shadow of what it used to be. It's still there in name, but that's about it. So to me, it's not a coincidence that those four counties who I named initially have got five things right. And because of that, they do well. North Midlands, you could maybe say, well, they've only got five. They've only got the greens, and when the greens go, where they're going to be? Fine, we'll see what happens if that happens. But you know, as it as it stands now, they won the county championship a few years ago, and fair play to them. So there must be a good outside outfit. So Greater Manchester Cheshire just dropping off. Maybe the players aren't there anymore. The young lads aren't coming through. Um, you could go on about that an awful lot. Merseyside, Merseyside. They lost in it. Did they lose in the final a couple of years ago? They don't seem to have that strength in depth. Uh, you know, once you get past that twenty-four players, there's a drop off. Do they have the greens anymore? You know, St Helens used to be a massive, uh, massive area for them that had greens. You just didn't want to. Play on Thato Heath, you know, uh, railway at Thato Heath, uh, British play, um, uh, was it the Green Halls Club, uh, Viaduct, you can go on and on, There's, they've lost a lot of greens, still, still got good players and they've obviously can compete and again I think they're a bit like North Midlands, sort of like, you know, we'll show them, we're going we're gonna to show you, we're only a small county, blah blah blah. South Yorkshire, South Yorkshire improved massively. They've they've got the team spirit right. They're no longer this this you know Barnsley Sheffield divide. They're, they're pulling together, uh, and I think if they can get five greens, they'll win a county championship. I've no doubt about that. I think that you know they're they're a good side, a good young side as well. And then they've got a few of the older end, you know, that you do need. You need that. You know, you need that sort of base to build on, and people like Richard Jackson, been a county player for a long time. You know, he's an ideal sort of father figure for the team, if you will, or grandfather figure, whichever. I don't mind. And then I'm going to talk about finally going to talk about my county and Lancashire. I feel sorry for Lancashire. I said in the last one that. I think that when Lancashire got divided up, you know, they were left with a fairly small area of bowls. And they were fortunate, fortunate that they still had a lot of players at that time. Fast forward to 2020, and the number of players playing in Lancashire and North Lancs has dwindled, like it has everywhere. But all of a sudden, we've got two counties there who were struggling to put 24 players out for whatever reason, be it political or they don't have the players or whatever, you know, as, as somebody who was a selector for North Lancs, we were looking at players who 10 years ago you wouldn't have looked at to play in the county. No offence to them, but, you know, <laughs> you just wouldn't. You wouldn't have got to to them. Um there's no, there's no way of putting it nicely that we wouldn't have looked that far down. 
but now we're having to um, because we don't have the players of that standard anymore um, so this is my suggestion I think Lancashire and North Lank should rejoin I think there'd be a fantastic county side there I think we'd be able to compete with Yorkshire I think we'd be able to compete with Warwick and Worcester do I think it'll ever happen? No, it'll never happen because there'll be too many people who won't want to lose their little bits of power. Uh, it'll be even more fragmentation of areas, certainly in North Lanks. I don't know what it's like in Lancashire. I don't know if there's that, that infighting, but uh, it would just make things even worse. And it's a shame. It's a shame because, you know, Playing for your county should be a highlight, and as one of the struggling counties, I the last few few years were difficult um, because you knew you're on a little bit of a hiding to nothing, especially against the bigger boys. Um, but I certainly think if Lancashire and North Lancs could rejoin, I think they'd be a formidable county again, and I think the game needs a strong Lancashire. Um, we've got a strong Yorkshire, we've got a strong Warwick and Worcester, I think a strong Lancashire, I'd add to all that. Um, I think I might get run out of the North Lancs team for saying it, to be honest, but that's something that crossed my mind, something that um, I know other people have talked about, I've heard in the past. And is it better to have two counties underperforming, just about coping to get a side out, or one big county with plenty of strength in depth and a rosy future who knows anyway i'm not going to ramble on anymore I've, i think I've, I've said plenty there uh in answer to the collins question yes i think the power has shifted dramatically and i think it'll be a few years before we get it back if ever to be honest i think the game is stronger in the midlands than it is up here now um and fair play uh, good on you um somewhere needs to be strong um and the game's still strong in yorkshire and south yorkshire um but around here in my experience yes there's good things happening but there's not enough people playing um certainly not well as there were 15 20 years ago unfortunately so so, that's enough of Ask Andy today. I think I've talked myself into a massive hole that I may never get out of, but never mind, as long as you're watching, I'm not too fussed. So, have a great weekend. I might throw in uh, a cheeky video on the, on the uh, channel tomorrow. So, get them notifications clicked and you'll find out. So, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say, stay at home. If you're on the green, stay safe, and I'll see you on the other side. Have a good weekend, guys.